Aquarius, hi. So this is going to be a reading for February 26th through March 3rd. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out the link for that in the description box below if you want. Well, let's see, Aquarius. What's going on? All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Five of Cups. Um, I mean, that's not a great energy. It's not the worst, but it's not super great. Um, it could come in with something happened at some point in the past. You're still kind of working through it, or but the energy of whatever happened is still kind of lingering or present in some way. So, okay. In the recent past, the Six of Wands, the Five of Wands, the Queen of Pentacles. I see conflict. Well, I see a situation that starts off good, everything's great, everything's fine, and then I see conflict, and then I see you going with putting yourself first. Probably going around this conflict by choosing yourself here. I don't know what that means, but okay. In the current situation, the Four of Swords, the Lovers, the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's healing here, but there's still there's still some stuff that need to be looked at. Um, there's healing over a connection that's very important, possibly having to do with that conflict over there, but you're still quite disappointed, quite upset. So you're still not yet at that phase of complete acceptance over what happened and healed completely over that. Okay. <coughs> In the immediate future, the Eight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Cups. This doesn't make sense at all. I see a lot of love within yourself that you're caring for a situation, but you're completely disconnected from that. So even if I see it here, you're not going to feel it. So you carry it for a particular situation, but you're not connected to that love, so you're not going to feel it. So it's almost feeling like emotional, emotionally numb when you look in that direction. Okay, let me see what's going on here. Let's clarify. Let me do the Five of Cups. <clears throat> the Fool, the Queen of Swords, the Nine of Cups. You have gone past it for the most part, so I'm not sure what this was still kind of is somehow somewhat you're you're doing better and better with it by the looks of it the way i'm seeing this is okay someone's gone through something with somebody else possibly and they've worked through it and now here they are standing in their power and feeling good about things because you know they've worked on a lot of whatever happened so for the most part i see you in that place of okay you're good you're good I still see some lingering energies from that, though. Um, let me do the Six of Wands in the recent past. The Knight of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Six of Wands. How do you pull this energy? Like, it just comes... Like, I don't know how this happens, but... You're involved in something, right? And... It's going okay, the flow is fine, everything's fine, and then all of a sudden you stop in your tracks and you're like, oh, uh, disconnect, you know, disengage. But it's coming in so easy. It's coming in so... How do you do that? <laughs> How do you just not care all of a sudden? And then you're like, oh, and yeah, I can do that. I can see that. Um, okay. It, like if something upsets you or if, if something is, you know, when the shit hits the fan, basically, you have the ability to just kind of disengage and be like, okay, it's not, it's not affecting me. I'm good. Oh. 
Let's do the Five of Wands. You get the Emperor, the Page of Wands, the Five of Pentacles. This is not a great energy. Because you possibly disengaged and you weren't present, even though you probably physically were, whoever you're dealing with here is going to feel that sense of, oh, Aquarius here. Mm, they're not here, actually. They're going to feel that. So it's going to create more commotion than anything. So I feel like that's exactly what happened here. And there you are, cheerio, because I'm disengaged. I don't care. Okay, let's fight. Bring it on. So, ultimately, it's not the healthiest energy. Yeah, it's a superpower, for sure, to disconnect just like that. But it's not the healthiest energy if it creates conflict, you know? Let's do the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like, there you are. Do I choose myself in this? Do I choose them? Do I, where, what do I choose in this one so that things can get calmer and balanced? And You're very much at a place of doubt, of not knowing, of... What you think is self-preservation, because that's what you think it is when you just disengage like that, um, is actually ending up creating a whole lot of problems along the way, to the point of you're completely lost, where you don't know what's up anymore, you don't know, you don't know nothing. Nothing. You're up in the air there. You know? Uh, so this could have been a mechanism that you used, could have been a pattern that you use to deal with things when things got rough. I don't care. Okay, but what did that get you? Other issues to deal with, because why not? So it's kind of like piling up a, a little bit of an issue situation there. Uh, all right, let's do the Four of Swords. <clears throat> the Six of Cups, the Knight of Wands, the Nine of Wands. You're having a hard time giving at this time, and I can see why. Um, it almost feels like you want to, but at the same time, you're very much inward. You're very much about you right now. There's a journey that's happening inside of you. So it's like, how can you give outside of yourself if you're busy here, right? But I see you wanting to give in a particular direction, but having a hard time with that. Let me do the lovers. The Ten of Swords, the Magician, the Five of Cups. I feel like you're trying to bring something back. I, I, it kind of takes me there in the past, whatever situation that was. I kind of feel like you're trying to dig it out from the ground that you buried it in. Um, you're repeating the pattern though. Let me see here. Let me do the Four of Cups. You get the Four of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, the Seven of Pentacles. Something's not working out for you here. You are tied up to a partnership of some sort, but you're showing me a sense of, yeah, it's not, yeah, yeah. Whereas you are actually tied up to whatever the hell that was over there, still. I'm not sure if you're tied up to it through this pattern that maybe you're still kind of using and abusing here. Like, I don't care. I don't give a shit. I don't think so. I think there's more to it than that that would tie you up to that energy right there in the past. I'm not necessarily seeing that energy gone completely, at least. But I'm seeing you engaging with other partnerships where you're like, eh. And then, meanwhile, this past situation comes into play in the sense of you want to bring it back, possibly. Huh. What the hell? Let me do the Eight of Cups. In the um, immediate future, you get the Moon, the Ace of Cups, the Tower. That's the pattern. That's you closing off emotionally. You don't care because you feel like, well, you associate love with disaster. If God forbid you were to care, 
Oh my God. Can you imagine what would happen? Yeah, you were to care. But no, in your head, it's like, whoa, ho, ho, ho. the damage that's going to be done from me allowing myself to care? No, we can't have that. Nope, we're not going to have that. That's why it's so easy for you to just click the button of disengage. All right. Well, if you want to bring something towards you that carries the frequency of love, you can't be using that button there. You can't be abusing the button of disengage. That's not going to bring it back. Well, it's going to bring it back in the same shape and form, but I don't think you want that. You got to be ready and open so that you get that towards you. For the Queen of Cups, you get the Strength card, the King of Wands, the King of Swords. This is the part where you may actually put the switch to the side, put the button to the side, allow for yourself to actually feel your feelings, and go for it. I have no idea what it is, but go for it. Okay. You're looking very, very determined. Very, okay, I know what I'm going for. I don't, but you do. Okay, yeah, yeah this is a secret to your button. Um, for the Nine of Cups, you get the Ace of Swords, the Ten of Cups, the Hierophant. So basically, this reading is you overcoming some sort of a pattern. Uh, the, the disengage pattern, the I don't give a shit pattern. I'm just going to press this button and all of a sudden I don't give a shit. Because I feel like you're starting to realize, and you're still working with the energy of the button, by the way, this Five of Cups, that's what it is. Because um, it's created a lot of damage in the past there, you know? And you're starting to see that. And right now, through whatever it is you're experiencing currently, you're actually uh, working a lot on that button. On the energy of that button and what it does and how to kind of flip it or get rid of it completely. And then in the immediate future, you actually do get rid of it completely. I see it here. You're kind of taking a screenshot for me here and showing it to me clearly like this is what this is. You know, I'm scared that if I do stay open from my heart, then uh, the end of the world is going to happen. That's why you're doing it. That's what causes the pattern. And then once you identify that and really are aware of that and start working towards flipping that around you're showing up fully open and the energies are looking very very different in the best way possible happiness commitment love passion determination clarity everything lines up here in the best way possible so cool you're breaking down that goddamn disengaged pattern all right let's see what the universe has the judgment card the queen of swords the four of pentacles and you're very determined to do so too you made up your mind you've had enough of that pattern you're like i'm done i'm done with the button i'm done done with the click done with the button i'm done with it i'm going for it i'm coming for you button that's where you're at right now. Good. That's a good attitude. And you are. You are going for it. And you are dealing with it the minute you catch it. So that's a nice way to deal with your own patterns and to admit to yourself, hey, this is fucking things up. This is not working out, you know? And then do something about it. So great. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped. And I'll see you next time. Bye.